Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Lang. Uh, this is Josh Hart. We're sports writers with the Bellingham Herald. We're going to be delivering you guys our week one prep football picks. So uh, here we go. Without further ado, uh, first game we got Linden Kings. Um, expect uh, Linden to come out uh, very strong, a good passing attack. Uh, really look forward to seeing what Sterling Summers can do in his in his first game out. And uh, I got uh, Linden with a 35-21 victory in that one. And uh, it seems like Linden uh, should have a strong secondary this year, and uh, Kings likes to likes to pass the ball a lot. Uh, I do question uh, the, what the Lions will bring in the run game, but yeah, that, like you mentioned, that passing attack is real strong for Linden. I have Linden uh, winning that one, 42-28. Sure. Okay. Let's turn to another big game this week. Uh, we got Bellingham playing Swalcombe at Civic. Uh, you know, you got to love uh, what Bellingham's doing. They're obviously a, a program on the rise with Ted Flint, but... Overall, just not quite there yet, uh, especially to match up with Squalcombe's talent and what they got. So uh, with the amount of squal uh, athletes Squalcombe has, I expect them to get a pretty big one, uh, week one win. I'm going with them 45-14 uh, in, in the opener against Bellingham. Yeah, city schools are always fun to watch, and uh, both these programs seem to be very similar in the fact they both have second-year coaches. Uh, both programs seem to be on the rise, but uh, Squalcombe definitely has more talent at this point. Uh, so yeah, I have uh, Squalcombe winning 49-7. to okay. Turn to our uh, third and final game. We're going to talk about a big one uh, with Mount Baker uh, traveling down to play the the two A defending state champ Cedro Woolley. Uh, man, I can expect a really physical game between those two. Uh, a couple of teams that I really love to get after and hit hard. Uh, so you know, at the end of the day, though, uh, I really really love the Mountaineers. Uh, love what Ron Lepper's got going on there. But I think Cedro Woolley is just going to be a little too tough. Uh, got Cedro Woolley with a 30-10 to 10 win uh, tonight. Yeah, Cedro Woolley was a lot of fun to watch in that state championship last year, and I, I, I think they'll still bring that run, running attack this year. It seems like they have a lot of returners. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think Baker will be a lot more competitive than maybe some people expect. Uh, it's going to be, I think, a run-heavy game on both sides. I think Baker came out a little bit flat last year in their opener against Cedro. Um, so I, th I have Baker losing, but uh, by just a slight margin, I have Cedro uh, winning 24-17. All right, now that we went through our three feature games, we're going to go rapid-fire style through the rest of our picks. Uh, first up, Hoquiam at Meridian. I got Meridian winning that one, 34-28. I'm Meridian winning 27-13. Next up, Lummy at Tahola. I got Lummy winning big, 60-12. I have Lummy winning 54-6. Anna Cordes at Nooksack Valley. I Anna Cordes win a really tight one, 21-20. I have Anna Cordes, Anna Cordes winning 27-10. Uh, New Westminster at Blaine. I got Blaine winning big, 48-17. I have Blaine winning 48-6. Sehome versus Cascade Christian. Got Cascade Christian winning this one, 33-21. I have Cascade Christian, 28-13. Uh, OMAC at LC. Got Linden Christian, 38-10. I have Linden Christian, 42-10. And lastly, Kamiakin against Ferndale on a big one. I have Kamiakin pulling out a really close win, 24-20. Uh, I have Ferndale actually on top, 17-14. Uh, all right, that's all uh, the, the week one picks we got for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to tune, uh, tune in next week for our Week 2 picks. Thank you.